Hi guys, Stuart here from Airshow World. Okay, so this is tutorial number four for creating your own virtual radar server. Okay, so what are we going to do in this section? So, we've showed you from um, tutorial number one all of the um, download links and everything that you needed. And the first download link was um, to install virtual radar server. And this is it. This is the actual program, virtual radar server okay this is what it looks like i'm in the configuration um set in here and you get to this by um it's the options see you click on tools and then it brings down drop down box and it clicks and it takes you to options now in here you click on the little plus okay here what you would um, what you would do is, or should I say, what I do? I'm going to um, give this receiver a name. Okay, so let's call it um, AW Asher World. Okay, one. Okay, yep. Format base station. That's okay, and um, don't worry about that. Um, what it's going to want to know? It's going to want to know what's the IP address? yeah and um okay so what's that all about that's the ip address of your raspberry pi okay so let's go 192.168.0.4 okay because you remember from the tutorial number three when we were using putty to talk to the raspberry pi that was the ip address port number this is what I tend to use, three and then three zeros and a three. Okay, click on test connection. And it came up, yes, I'm talking, it says to your Raspberry Pi. Okay then, say okay to that. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create another. Okay, so why are we creating two? Why are we creating two um, receivers? Right, so the answer to that question is because I want to um, be able to receive um, MLATs from um, flight radar. And what the MLATs will give me are the aircraft that don't normally show. Um, show their positions on the um, uh, on the map on the radar screen whatever you want to call it yes they don't if they don't show their positions they will not show okay but this program will enable you to get the MLATs well, I'm not going to going to explain what MLATs are all about but basically it will show aircraft that are not showing their positions okay so let's call this a W two leave that as it is network that's the type of connection okay type in the same IP address one nine two dot one six eight dot zero dot four okay we've got to use a different um, port number so what I have been using and works for me is three zero one oh six okay let's have a look let's test that connection there we go and it says yes I can connect okay so we've got two receivers now now further down here you'll see there's one called merged feed okay now this is the important bit Obviously, click enabled. Um, merge three. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go with the default name. You can call it whatever you like. Look long, um, but I would recommend you put merged somewhere in there so that you know. Put a tick in there and a tick in that one over here. Got that highlighted now? Put a tick in MLAT. There. Put a tick in MLAT. Okay. All right, so really, that's there is other configurations here where you can put your um, 
user details all right i'll leave i'm going to leave that for a different tutorial okay and i just want to keep this simple basic so you guys know how to get this up and running quickly okay say so our key to that all right let's have a look yeah i'm happy with all of that Sorry about that, missed one step. There you go. See, notice it's not closing. Yeah, because it knows that silly me has forgotten to do something. So let's have a look. Merge feed. Okay. Alright. And if you've had Flight Simulator, yeah, if any of you guys are into Flight Simulator, you can output all of this to your um, flight sim. Okay, that looks okay. Let's see if our let's double check a couple of things here. Okay, yes. Right, so let's see what we're doing. Okay, so here we are. It says connected. AW1, AW2, and we are that's what we are tracking. Okay, there's my merge feed one. I'm going to click on that. What that should do is then say I um, refuse connection <laughs> so we need to find out the reason for that ah that's the thing about doing these things live isn't it let's have a look see what silly little things I've made a mistake on maybe I have to close it and start it again there we go let's, have a look. let's just close up for a second and relaunch it hopefully that should have rectified all of that things right so if you want to double check right click configure feed yes that's correct when it should be test connection yes it says I can do that I think why it was falling down was just that it needed closing and reopening let's give that a go let's have a look yes that's fine okay so in just a moment you should see that um, it will come up with my virtual radar. There we go, just thinking about it. Here we go. There we go, there's my little screen there. Not showing anything at the moment. That's okay, I'm okay with that. So what we've got to do, click on the receivers. Yeah, there's that one. Yeah. So here we have the um, receivers that I created in Virtual Radar, AW1, AW2. I want Merge Feed. Okay, click on Options. Filter. Because there's no military aircraft flying around at the moment, I'm going to take out that. Okay. And just close that. And there we go. So that is exactly what my Raspberry Pi is picking up. Okay. If you want to get a full screen view, hit F11. The F11 key, yeah. F11 key again. Yep, so this is not going out onto the internet at all. Yeah, the only thing it is getting from the internet is um, the MLATs. Okay, so let's have a quick look at um, proving that you're getting MLATs. There's your receivers. Okay, I've got merge feed. Okay, well, let's just click on AW2, which is just my MLATs only. So, in other words, what you're going to start to pick up are 
smaller aircraft that don't give out their positions normally but they're using the MLAT system yeah fly bees they don't normally show their location okay but of course you're not going to see so many aircraft so let's go back to receiver and my merged feed and then all of a sudden da -da -da -da, all the other aircraft that show their positions are now showing and that's just about everything um, just there okay so I think that's bringing this uh, tutorial to a close um, please feel free to um, leave um, some nice comments and also uh, da -da 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 -da, let's think about this yes um, so yeah let, let, leave a comment um, uh, please subscribe to Airshow World uh, when you subscribe there's an option to say um, um, get notifications and if you select that whenever I put a new video out and um, in this series of videos or anything else because we have around about 400 um, different air show and um, aircraft videos including low fly aircraft through the Mac loop and the rest of it um, you will um, get an email to tell you that um, we have a new video okay um, number tutorial number five I think is the next one um, yes should be live very very soon so thanks for watching and um, have a good day thank you